So, hey guys, Chelsea here uh, with the half anniversary starting tomorrow. We got the full info dump today, so let's do the usual thing and look through it. Let's start from the bottom. And yeah, we've got Kanjiro and Momo. Not sure if Momo was part of it before. Well, we got new units added to the uh, Legend Pool, so that's cool, I guess. Grand Party login bonus, like usual, but nothing noteworthy at all. We have a half anniversary campaign, and as you see, we're getting close to the 10th anniversary, going to be in. May next year, going to be interesting to see what happens then. Uh, we will be getting 25 games for the half Annie, which makes sense since we get usually get 50 games for the full Annie, so half of that. We will have a half Annie login bonus. We will also have a Sorrow lottery. This is becoming like a half Annie tradition. We had it last year as well. Then it was for like the Legend Sorrow, we got their Anniversary Sorrow, now we're getting the Film Red Outfit Sorrow, but yeah, not the best top rewards, but nobody gets that really, so uh, in the bottom it's the same as usual. A few games per day extra. Uh, we get a new ship buffs, it's going to be Garp's Battleship, Coded Sunny and Oro Jackson. Oro is one of the best ships in general, so yeah, interesting to see the buffs for that. Uh, Garp's Battleship now buffs Strength and Psy Carriage Attack by 1.75 times and HP by 1.4 times. So yeah, not the most colors, and those colors also overlaps with uh, the Capone ship. Uh, but so. I don't know if this is really worth it. The special effects basically extends chain buffs by one turn, which is interesting, but yeah, I don't think it's enough to make this ship that great. I wouldn't say it's a big priority at least. The coated Sunny is 1.65 times attack, 20% damage reduction, makes it easy to hit perfect. And it also has a 12 turn special, which is pretty uh, pretty many turns. And it just does 80% damage reduction, so yeah, it's probably the worst buffed special we've got so far. Uh, with the special effects, we can reduce spine by two turns. So that's like the big uh, unique thing with this ship. Like we have the Flying Mary that can remove two to spear. Now we have Code of to remove two bind. Which means that this ship is probably worth to uh, uh, ex well get to level 12 eventually, but still not a big priority. Or reaction, which is honestly still a very good ship even without getting to level 12. Uh, now it's, it's still minus one CD. Free spirit and slashers are now 1.7 times attack, 1.3 times HP. Recovery Tannins having matching slot effects, which is still the same as before. Much easier to hit perfect, which is also the same as before. Quick and side carriage get an extra 1.1 times attack, so we're getting like about 1.9 times attack with that. And you also hit crew by 1000 HP at the end of turn, which is also not new. So yeah, pretty good attack now, especially quick and Psy free spirit slasher units get very high attack. Uh, with the special effect, we also get an extra 150 base attack for Free Spirit and Slasher, which is not a lot, but it does add up to being a bit of an extra attack boost. And the special effect, second special effect, also adds bind removal to the special, so you can remove two turns of bind, two turns of paralysis, and I've seen some takes about, uh, you have to stall a bit, and it's like, well, is it better to stall or not being able to beat the content? That's the question I have. Like, it's going to be useful mainly for Pirate King Adventures and Hard Grand Voyages. And then for me, like in general, just trying to make good fun teams, stuff like that. And who knows if they bring back Garp Challenges, of course, in the future, which also will be a good use for it. 
So yeah, decent buffs. I don't have any cola though, so nothing for me right now. Uh, we've got new level limit break and limit break expansions. I'll cover the level limit break in another video, but we're getting Halloween ones. Plus Law and Shiryu, which are two pretty good PvP rare recruits, so nice to see them get buffs. And Limit Break Expansion all film red rear recruits. And yeah, minus one CD for a few of them might be tempting. The potential abilities are nothing special from what I've seen. Uh, Grand Party is back, yay! And it's going to start on a Monday this time to make room for Blitz. So October 29th is when this starts. And yeah, this time Powerhouse is getting special CT speed up level 5, Quick Attack up level 8, Int HP speed up level 5, Slasher nerfed HP down level 4, CT speed down level 3, and Quick Death up when Leader is present. So this time they nerf Slashers, but for the first time in a while they don't really nerf Psy, Free Spirit and stuff like that. So yeah, there are definitely avenues like... I'll probably be using Gear 5 since I don't have anything else, but it will have been fun to try some shield stuff from all of the new legends to try and don't take any damage from Gear 5, but since I'm not pulling, I can't really do that. Uh, Parking Adventures is going to be against Hot Musica, but the free to play unit is going to be uh, Beppo, Sunny, and Blue Emma. And this character is actually going to super evolve for the treasure map, where we're going to be able to get skulls. So that's pretty interesting, since I think they're pretty decent already, to be honest. Don't think they had a support. Oh, they have, actually. 40% uh, damage reduction, 1.3 times death down conditional, and it's for Luffy, Kobe, Law. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Captain ability. Nothing special, still 4 times attack and resist special reaver, so that's actually pretty decent. Special, 2 times death down conditional, reduces attack down, bind ship ability by 1 turn, first time you use a special. Second time you use it, you reduce attack down bind by 2 turns, 60% damage reduction. And you also extend the duration of cruise damage dealt to enemies with its specific status effect boost by 1 turn. Basically, you extend conditional boosts. So it's okay. This is a triple special. The second triple special we've got. So you can use it three times. So it means you can remove five turns attack down. Uh, you can also remove up to ten turns of ship bind. Since you also remove it with the potential ability. So yeah, it's okay. Guaranteed full board of matching orbs and some extra base stats. And you reduce paralysis by one turn for crew. And character himself gets minus three CD. So yeah, these are the biggest sheet sailors I've seen. It's basically four sailors split in two. But I guess it's to signify that we have three units. So like all of the binds, ship stuff signifies Sunny, of course. Not sure what signifies Blueno and Beppo though. But yeah, I guess uh, Super Evolution is going to be the um, outside of the dream world or something when I don't like so when I don't look so kid like or whatever. Uh, moving on, we will have a Blitz Friday next week, where we'll be able to get a new free to play unit in Luffy, Uta, and Makino, and they are actually pretty decent. No support though. Uh, Captain Bill is bad. Special is pretty good though. 60% damage reduction for 2 turns. Reduces special bind by 6 turns. Changes block and types loss to recovery. Heals crew by 30 times character recovery. And you can go about the HP limit. So yeah, nothing to complain about there. Good utility. Orbanip healing. Yeah, got it all. Also a special bind by 6 turns and you heal some extra at end of turn. So yeah, nothing to complain about. Solid unit. 
And finally we have the actual Sugo, which is going to be split into four parts. Uh, what we know from this is that Shanks and Luffy is going to be anniversary legends. Katakuri and Oven are a normal legend, so that kind of makes sense. Uh, I've talked about the legends in separate videos, so we'll talk a bit about the rare recruits here, I guess. We have a new rock star, which is Free Spirit Powerhouse. And he doesn't have a support, I think. Uh, Captain ability is not that great, but still a bit of effort put into it. But here is special. If HP is 50% 50 or below when special is launched, you reduce character special charge time by 4 turns. Reduces one enemy's HP by 10%. Reduces all enemies' damage reduction and damage vessel duration by 3 turns. You double the type effects of normal attacks for crew for 1 turn. And you reduce character special charge time based on the number of times you use the special. So the first time you use it you get 7 extra seed reduction. Then it's 3 turns, then it's 1 turn every time after that. See it's pretty weird because it doesn't remove a lot of debuffs. So then you'd think that he could get the special back, but yeah, it's 11 turns here, so he lack one. So somehow someone has to reduce CD by one more, unless I'm mistaken, 4, 7, it's 11, so you need one more. So yeah, not sure what they thought about that. And we also have, like, sure you can remove more damage reduction and damage wrestle then, but... Uh, you can't get more color affinity, stuff like that, so it's just for utility. And we also have the question why use Rockstar and not just use a no normal rare recruit that don't have to go through the hassle. Like, I don't really see the point, don't think it's worth all the trouble. He does double damage to quick, so he'll do good damage versus quick for sure. Oh, he does reduce his special CDs. I don't believe, I can believe I overlooked that, yeah, that, that does make him a lot better, yeah. And you can potentially use him a third time later for color affinity, so, okay, he's pretty decent. I think it's better than Lime Use, at least. Uh, Lime Use, Free Spirit Striker, Psy, Captain Ability, nothing special. Special, two levels. Level 1, 6 turns, applies paralysis to all enemies. 5% uh, character attack and non tight damage to all enemies. Reduces bind the spear by 2 turns. And applies minus 10% strength and psi resistance to all enemies. So yeah, that's okay for a 6 CD special. Uh, third in turns, uh, applies paralysis to all enemies for 3 turns. Deals 70 times character attack and non tight damage to all enemies. Reduces bind the spear by 4 turns, applies 30% strength and size resistance to all enemies for 1 turn. And if cruise HP is above 51% when you use the special, you cut cruise HP by 50%, but reduces character's CD by 6 turns. So this is pretty similar to the level limit break we 2 law, where you can get basically a double special, use level 2 and then level 1. So together you can basically remove 6 turns of bind the spear, and get a 40% strength and psi resistance, so yeah, it's okay, can't really complain. And the idea is that he can set up a Rockstar as well, so you use Lime Use first, get below, get to 50% HP, then you use Rockstar, then you use Lime Use again, this will enable Rockstar again, so together they can do a pretty good combo. So. And yeah, you also reduce his CD by 3, so he starts at 10 CD, which is okay, I guess. He makes quick slots, I match in slot effects, and he does a bit more damage against int. So yeah, uh, he's okay, but yeah, I don't think he's that great, to be honest. Finally, we have the four parts. Uh, part 1 will have all new legends, we have to see the rate, like... Usually the rates on these equal up to 0.5% together, so that means very low chance to get any new legend here. Uh, so if that's the case, yeah, not sure how good part 1 will be. 
on part two you'll be able to get pull the new shanks on part three the new luffy and part four the new category and oven it's going to be a bit of a break before we get part four though one day off and uh, yeah as for the parts we'll, let's take a look how they've divided the annie legends mainly so on part one you can get shanks luffy and odin toki and odin toki is the most recent annie legend so Odin Toki here should be 0.5% rate at least, but Shanks, Luffy and Katakuri Oven together should be 0.5%, so not that high. We need to double check though, like they could, get they could be higher, but I wouldn't count on it. Uh, as for part 2, you can get Shanks, Sabo and Kinemon Denjiro, it's so all pretty okay. And on part 3 we have Luffy, Ace and the Wives. And on part 4 with Katakuri and Oven we got Kid Luffy and Zoro. And yeah, this is a big issue with having so many parts like... Pretty pro many probably want to pull for a lot of these, but now when they are so split, it's really hard to get any real amount of copies. So I don't really like this and... Yeah, we're seeing <coughs> similar problems with Super Sugo Fest, where they're trying to do so many parts and trying to really divide them so you can't really get anything good going. So it's just unfortunate, really. Like, I don't see the problem with having Sugo Fest from time to time that isn't overflowing with normal legends. Like, it's fine if there is more non normal legends on special events like this, but yeah, it's what Bandai is doing. So yeah, this is dropping tomorrow, let me know if you're pulling, I'm skipping until New Year and I see no reason to deviate from that plan, at least with this Sugofest. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.